Time now uh, for Media Watch, and we're joined uh, by Emma James. Hi there. Hi, Emma. Now, you've got reactions uh, to a departure from the White House. We know which one that is. We've been talking <laughs> about it earlier, Sean Spicer. Uh, so it's the end of the road for what was a, quite a controversial run for uh, you, a White House press secretary. Very much so. In fact, he became far more of a personality than I think any other press secretary at the White House ever had. Um, and certainly uh, that's being reflected with the reactions online to this. Anne Telnays of the Washington Post tweeting this cartoon saying it's about time. Um, she had constantly criticised him over the fact that he uh, was prepared to lie uh, for the Trump administration. Ariana Huffington, too, uh, tweeting this, the uh, Thrive Award for the person who has improved their happiness the most in one day goes to Sean Spicer. Right. Comedy Central, too, saying that um, he lasted six months longer than predicted. Of course, six months and one day, in fact. Um, and I think it is fair to say that it's the comedians who are probably going to miss him the most. The Daily Show was very, very quick out of the blocks when the uh, resignation was announced. Just a few minutes later, they released a, uh, a video eulogy of sorts on Twitter. Take a look. <laughs> Guys, good morning, good afternoon. Good evening, good afternoon. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period. You're shaking your head. I appreciate it, but, but, um, with respect to, um, uh, over the, hold on one second. You don't get to just yell out questions. We're going to raise our hand like big boys and girls. Demo, dem, Denmark, as a, as a, education, point, 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 points. Asad al-Shar, Asad al-Shar. Asad. Asad. Oh that really God, that's so mean. I'm exactly. sure he wasn't always tripping over his words, but they definitely <laughs> well, plucked out some elegant words. And, and that is certainly why he became so well known and, right. and so talked about, because mm. because of all the fluffs and the errors and the inability to, to pronounce people's names correctly. And now, as for the reason for his resignation, well, the New York Times were first uh, to report this one, um, and they say it's because he was vehemently opposed to the appointment of Anthony Scaramucci, mm. the new White House communications director, or Mooch, to his friends. Um, he's a former Wall Street financier, so you wonder how that fits into Donald Trump's idea of draining the swamp. Um, apparently, Donald Trump had wanted Sean Spicer to stay on, despite the fact that he had been very critical of him in the past. Because he was wearing two hats, press secretary and communications director. Yes, so, he was kind of standing in for someone right. who had um, gone back in May. So yes, he'd been playing both roles. He was expected to carry on as press secretary, but said he would not work mm. with the mooch. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the, the Daily Beast has come up with my favourite favourite uh, headline of the day, Spicy Bales, White House flails as Mooch prevails. Now, what they say is that Donald Trump was impressed by Scaramucci's spirited defence of his administration on Fox News, as he was a regular, appear, uh, re regular commentator appearing on Fox News. However, it would appear that uh, Donald Trump perhaps hadn't dug around in the archives as much as he might have, um, because Brad Jaffe, a uh, producer of, for NBC, uh, has dug up this clip in which um, this gentleman refers to him, he is now, of course, the White House communications director, referred to uh, Donald Trump, then a presidential candidate, as a hack politician, anti-American, very, very divisive. He went on to say that other politicians are too afraid to go after him because he has such a big mouth and will probably do them more damage um, than, than they can actually make good by criticising him. So he did it for them. He right. said, you are an inherited money dude from Queens County. Bring it, Donald. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how the relationship goes between these two men. See, nothing is ever forgotten now. Everything you ever say is logged. Forget about it. Nothing will be forgotten. Now, as we understand it, Sean Spicer didn't know this was going to happen. The announcement uh, of his replacement came before he had even had the chance to announce his own resignation. Sort Absolutely. Of. Well, he um, was tweeting as... Business as usual at the White House. Uh, this went out. Check out the president's weekly address focusing on Made in America. That was 5.36 Paris time. Uh, less than 20 minutes later, uh, we got this from Glenn Thrush at the New York Times, um, confirming that uh, 
The press secretary, uh, Sean Spicer, had resigned after objecting to the appointment of Scaramucci. Now, what is interesting, and this could lead to or could signal some much bigger repercussions, is that according to this uh, Twitter user, Reitz Priebus, Trump's uh, chief of staff, and Steve Bannon were also in the dark, not just Sean Spicer, about the appointment of Scaramucci. Um, so that could be interesting. Reitz Priebus was the man who brought in Sean Spicer. Steve Bannon apparently doesn't like him, I have heard or read. Um, now, Sean Spicer has gone on to tweet later today that it has been an honour and a privilege to serve the president and this amazing country. He will continue his service throughout August. Some people, though, think that all the eulogies and the fact that he's become this cult figure really isn't um, isn't the right way to look at him. He, he's not a kitschy joke, but a villain, says Eric Garland. Uh, Spicer propagandised a plan to destroy democracy and hide treasonous collusion with a foreign power. Very strong words. Mm. But a lot of people have been very critical of him. Part of the reason why he's become such a, a well-loved character almost is largely because of Saturday Night Live, where Melissa McCarthy has done an amazing job of portraying him Heels. as the press secretary. And we are certainly going to miss those sketches. She's out of a job too, I guess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, Emma James, thank you uh, for, for that uh, roundup of all the reactions to Sean Spicer's resignation.